this, visit pianohooks.com for full lessons and the Piano Hooks Patreon page for more advanced tutorials. For now, here's the simple version. For the Christmas song, One Horse Open Sleigh by James Pierpont, we're going to learn the chorus in four parts. For part one, we'll find the position of the right hand. On a full size 88 key keyboard, we're going to locate the center of the keyboard, which is the space in between a group of three black keys and a group of two black keys. And we're gonna start off by playing the white key just to the right of a group of two black keys. For the left hand, we're going to find this group of two black keys, and then we're gonna go one position lower to find a lower group of two black keys. And we're gonna start off by playing the white key just to the left of the two black keys. So this is our starting position. I'll play part one and we'll break it down. So for part one, once we find our positions, we want to center around groups of two black keys. The right hand's going to be to the right of those two black keys, and the left hand's going to be to the left of those two black keys. So the right hand is on the right side of those two black keys and the left hand is on the left side of the two black keys. That's the starting position. Both hands will play at the same time and the right hand will play one, two, three, four, five, six times. The important part here is the rhythm though. We want when we play hands together the left hand to hold and the right hand to go short, short, long and repeat short, short, long. So that was six times. Let's do that again. Short, short, long, short, short, long. And that should match with the words of the song, which is jingle bells, jingle bells. For part two, the starting position is going to be exactly the same as the starting position in part one. So we locate the groups of two black keys, the right hand moves to the nearest white key to the right, and the left hand moves to the nearest white key to the left. Part two sounds like this. So for part two, both hands play at the same time, exactly as we started part one. The left hand holds, but the right hand has a little bit of jumping here. From this starting position, the right hand skips a white key, jumps up to play the white key in between the bottom two black keys of a group of three black keys. So it went from here to here, then it's going to do a big jump down to play a copycat key of the left hand. So it went from the starting position, did a small jump up, it only skipped one key, and then does a big jump down to play the white key just to the left of a group of two black keys. Steps up a white key, and then finishes to step up again to get right to the starting key that we had. So let's try that again. Both hands go together and we just hold the left hand. 
small jump up, big jump down, step up, and step up again. Now for the rhythm, it'll sound like this. So we're holding the right hand keys medium, medium, and then long. After that, it's short, long. Medium, medium, long, short, long. What song should I do next? Leave a comment below. For part three, the starting position of the right hand is one key higher from where we left off in part two, which was here. So we're gonna start off by playing the white key just to the left of a group of three black keys here. The left hand is going to find a copycat key of this, just one position lower. So we're both playing white keys to the left of groups of three black keys. So part three sounds like this. So for part three, we start off by playing copycat keys of each other. Both hands go at the same time, but the left hand keeps holding while the right hand's going to play another four times. So this was one, then two, three, four, five. So a total of five times. So we'll try that again. One, two, three, four, five. And now we want to make sure four and five are quicker than one, two, and three. So one, two, three, four, five. Now from here, the left hand drops down to play the same key we played in parts one and two, and the right hand is going to repeat this key one more time at the same time, but then it steps down. One, two, three, four, to play this key to the right of two black keys four times. So we'll try that again. We'll go right from the start of part three. Hands together. One, two, three, four, five. Left hand drops down. Right hand doesn't move. But then it steps down and plays this four times. One, two. The last two are quicker. Three, four. And one more time. One, two, three, four, five, left hand drops, one, and then here, one, two, three, four. And now for part four, our right hand starts off just like it did in part one, our left hand, however, is going to jump up and play the white key in between the bottom two black keys of a group of three black keys. So part four sounds like this. So for part four, we find our starting position. Right hand plays the white key to the right of a group of two black keys, and the left hand plays the white key in between the bottom two black keys of a group of three black keys. So both hands go at the same time. The right hand steps down, repeats this, steps up, steps down again, holds longer, and then jumps up to play a copycat key of the left hand. So we'll try that again. We find our starting position. 
And when ready, we play together. Step down, repeat. Step up, step down, and hold. Jump up, and hold. And one more time. So one way to keep track of these keys is count how many we played. So one, two, three, four, five, hold, jump up, six, hold. So we played six keys in the right hand. Take your playing to the next level, become a member at pianohooks.com. And if you like this video, smash that like button and subscribe.